Types really help the developer prevent bugs. Common Lisp is a dynamic language, but it has a type system, and today we see how it can help us track and trace bugs. I call this discussion built-in type safety, because we can take advantage of it with the default installation of a Common Lisp compiler. The following example will all use SBCL, and we start with maximum safety and minimum speed. In Common Lisp, you are not required to specify type when declaring a variable, and a symbol can hold values of different types at different times. That is, it is a dynamic language. You are not required means that if you want, you can, and the compiler will be able to optimize the code and provide more warnings. Deducing the probable type of a variable during compilation is known as type inference. This enhances the ability to catch type-related errors early in development process, providing an additional level of safety without explicit type annotation. During this discussion, we will use this implementation of the edit distance in Common Lisp. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in more details about this particular implementation. This is a common problem in many areas, from natural language processing to coding theory and it is also often asked in interview processes. In particular, we will compute the edit distance of two very large strings. We have a file DNAs, which is 20 Ks. That is, it contains two strings of 10 Ks. We will pass the string to dist and see how much time it takes to get executed. Make array by default accepts elements of any type. In memory, it basically just stores pointer to the actual value, since each cell could have different size. But if we provide the element type, it can optimize the space, for example by storing the actual value inside the cell, and the reference time. For example, since we read the value directly, we use better the cache memory. This is an example of dynamic programming, and inside the DP, I know that I will only store integers and uh, that will not be too big. For example, I expect them to be less than 2 to the 16. Let's try to run as it is now. We can see that it took more than 3 seconds. Now let's change the code and provide the element type to make array. Compile it again. Let's try to run it. And we can see that this time it took only 1.8 seconds. What we've seen is not enough. Common Lisp is a compiled language, and so we can take advantage of it to get more warning before execution time. During compilation, we get a lot of errors like missing arguments, missing functions, syntax errors, and so on. Nevertheless, SBCL is quite smart and during compilation can provide a lot of type analysis. Let's see an example. This is the same function as before, but I've introduced an error. Let's try to catch it. I compiled the function, and we can see that a lot of errors appeared. Let's see the first error. This is just a warning without many information. Let's look at the second. In this case, we can see that the common lisp has the dust that the type from is a number but we are providing here a sequence, a string. Why is that? The previous time I used the form, I used it directly inside OnePlus. I forgot to use the function length, and so, from this expression, common lisp could deduce that from is an integer, and so, if I use here as an integer, I cannot use it after as a string. It would have been better if he just said me that I cannot use from there as a string. But Common Lisp cannot know that I want from to be a string. I've never said it to him. So he can only build assertions from previous code. I can improve this fact, providing a declaration. Let's compile it again. And we can see that this time the error is exactly on one plus, because from is a string, but I am using it in place of a number. Let's fix the code, and we can see that all errors disappeared. But what if the input is safe? 
In Common Lisp, we can also add type safety during runtime. The main issue is that all the checks we do during runtime will slow down the software. Developer can choose to include explicit runtime checks for critical section of the code, striking a balance between performance and safety in specific code segments. What if I know that the input is trusted and I just want a lot of speed? So, in this case, we can just change the declaration. For example, we want maximum speed and lowest possible safety. Let's try to run this inside our code. Let's return to the first version. And let's try to compile it. We can see that many errors appeared. For example, in this case, he is unable to optimize because he does not know the type of from. And so there must be some dynamic dispatch based on the type of from at runtime. But we know that from is a string, so let's tell him. Let's compile it again. This time the error is on a ref of dp, that is when we read the value inside dp. Again, in this case he cannot say that this is a number, we have to tell him. Let's compile it again. And finally, we have this error, because the type of from is still too large. He wants a simple array. So we declare from a string a simple string. Let's compile it again. And we can see that all errors have disappeared. Now let's try to run the code again. We can see that this time the code executed in 0.56 seconds, which is much less than before. It's interesting that since we have set speed to 3, the compiler has told us some hints to make the code faster. It's important to never use this setting for applications we want to distribute. In general, it's always better to have more safety and only optimize what is strictly needed. As usual, in Common Lisp, you have complete freedom in what you can do. This will be even more clear in the next video about algebraic data types. We have seen that, despite being a dynamic language, in Common Lisp we can have a lot of warning and hints on type safety during compile time and runtime. Moreover, we have to choose if we want slower code with checks at runtime or faster code without checks, all just by setting some declarations. For today this is all, let me know in the comments if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe.